Heisman. Oh, why is he following us? Go, go, put your foot down. It's okay. He's too far. He won't kill us from there. Great start to the day, Harvey. Great start. This is Afghanistan, my friend. I radioed HQ in Islamabad. I told them to get you a nice merc. They never listen to a word I said. Steve, nice to be back, mate. What's it? Our usual. Government red tape hold us down a bit. Good to be back, my friend. Yeah, I'm glad. Yeah. Aisha. It's good to see you back, Richard. Did you arrange a little welcome salute? We got fired on this side of the spin that pass. Welcome back to Kandahar. Is it Northern Alliance? No, not down here. There's some pissed off tribesmen. Sees a van going through the desert, decides to take pot shots. Hands all the time. Things have escalated a lot since you were last year. There's a lot more shit knocking about. You're getting used to that, aren't you? Must have got a bit hairy in Africa. Well, I feel we should be sorted that out, mate. Lucky bastard. But the wife was ecstatic, weren't she? Oh, well, this is the life, my friend. This is the life. We're same old Africa. Every single fucking level from minor officials upwards is on the make. It's just the same here. 
Everybody assumes because they're Islamists that they're holy and less corruptible. But it's just a myth. I was in Afghanistan in 94, just before the Taliban took over Kabul. The government then were a bunch of fucking lunatics, but this lot... Everybody knows this in Pakistan. But our own government is totally corruptible. We cannot control our own tribal problems. And the Taliban are doing nothing to try and calm the ethnic issue. I see. You going? This new government chief, he's pretty strict on us. Aisha can still work for us, but she has the same curfew as Jamila. So we have to house her up near the old palace. Oh, thanks, ladies. Thanks for dinner. Sure, Jamila, sure. And keeping Jamila was even tougher. They still allow her to be an interpreter, just. But we can't take her out of the region now. It's ridiculous. So what about the old boy, the old chief? You know, they took him to Kabul about three weeks ago and executed him. He was screwing young boys. I mean, they're all that. Either. It's just a question who gets caught. This new boy's called Ashik Khan. Now he's a real fucker. One of the original Taliban is from 92. Ex Mujahideen, fought the Russians round here. He wants to know our every move. Cheers. He's placed himself up on the hill just outside town, lording it over all the tribes. What about Northern Alliance? Keep hearing about this General Massoud. Ahmad Shah Massoud. General Massoud. They also call him the Line of Panshia. He fought the Russians too, unit commander. But it's unlikely they'll break through to Kabul without some sort of help from America. That's not due anytime soon. So we clear the minefield so their government can ship fuel to their fighters to kill more Afghans. Always a negative spin, eh? If we build up the infrastructure, clear the mines, get petrol around the country, surely that's an help? That would be. But the roads and the pipelines are now Taliban controlled. What do you think their priority is? Getting food out to some small village in Helmand? Or filling the petrol stations in Jalalabad full of starving peasants and goat herders? No fucking way. These boys want fuel to fight. They want the roads open to fight the Northern Alliance, to fight the Tajiks, to fight the Uzbeks. In fact, any fucker who doesn't follow their own personal brand of Islam. And that includes Westerners with do good principles. You don't have a problem with that. One day you work for Queen and Country, next you work for the fucking Taliban. It's none of my business. Jenko say, go to Kandahar, we've got the contract, go clear minefields. Then that's my job. Forget any lofty principled ideas about trying to change things. They've been fighting in Afghanistan since Alexander the Great marched through it. It'll never change. So, <laughs> so leave the fuckers to it, right on cue. Get your flag jacket on. It's probably just a tribal flare. Not for me, mate. I'm off to bed, boys. Sweet dreams. Night, Bob. more often these days. Oh, I forgot to say, Gary Mulligan phone said there's a team of Americans in Helmand, they want to buy some kit off us. Which company? I don't know, the best in New York. Isn't that where you're from, Jamil? I'm from Afghanistan, but yes, I've lived in Boston and then New York when I was a little child. New York's not what it used to be. You're probably a lot better off here, it's a lot safer. Meets 
sort him out. I'll need a bit of piss anyway. Now's as good a time as any. You must tell him that if he keeps driving this way, we're going to have problems for the next 10 miles. Every time we come, he drives too quickly. I keep telling him. You tell him. Yeah, my little guy is so cold. Tell him. What's some pizza out of one? But what about you with the guy? We're going to have problems with the tyres all the way. I can see what the problem is. Yeah. What's the problem? I'm, I'm sorry, mate. I, I don't understand. I'm, I'm sorry. Whatever. Just, just put the gun down. Hey, 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 Wellam did that to Wellam. Him there. Calm down, calm down, calm down. Oh, okay, no problem. No problem. What the fuck did you do? I was just having a piss. I'm the one. Let you. Put the rifle down, mate. Don't back shut the car. 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 Don't Wait, mate, just wait. Wait, wait, wait. Steve, it's all good. Well, I'm dear. Mate, you've got to put the rifle down. Don't shoot, don't shoot, don't shoot. No, no, no. Get the gun back. 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 Get Come on! Hurry up! Get into the car! Come on! 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 Come you were inside of her. But you've got to be more careful. I know you've been away for a while, but you've got to think about these things. Any sign of dishonouring their women, they'll blow your fucking head off. Do you understand? Okay, okay. You okay? Look, let's just get to work, all right? How are you doing, mate? Yeah. Bit shook up, I suppose. Yeah, like everyone. Yeah. Jimmy was a great find, didn't she? Yeah. Understand you two got quite close just before you went to Africa. Not especially. We well, got on well when we went out to Helmand, but me and Jimmy were on her. She was a good team. Not sure this new calm fella will allow her to work for us much longer. Things are changing around here. The NA's got the north of the country. Government are tightening down on foreign teams like us. It's a shame, but it's just how it is. What's up, Kudur? I'm not going to be kissing you, Bijan. I'm not going to be kissing you. I'm not going to be kissing you. I'm not going to be kissing you.
236, clear the lanes. One down. Yeah, just 48,752 left. Come on, Jamila. <laughs> Yavla, ne gibi bir çipa ile akardım? Bak işte, bak işte o adam kumpamdı. Bak işte o adam kumpamdı. Bak işte o adam kumpamdı. Ne? Stop! Ali! Yavla! Hareket de koy! Çoğra koy! Yavla! Yavla! Bekir. Ali! Ali, hurry up! Hurry up! Stay there! Help me! Stay where you are! Come away from the line! Come away from the line! Aisha! Aisha, my dear! Hey, my dear! Hurry up! 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 Just tell him to stay there and you come back from the line. 20 meters. Aisha, please, stay there. Please, please. You have to stay there, okay? Tell him to stay where he is. What's his name? What's his name? Ali, Ali. Ali, you look at me, you look at me. You stay where you are. You stay where you are now. Aisha, come away now. Come away. We'll clear the lane. Get the zips up. Where is it? Where is it? No. 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 Aisha, Aisha, it's okay, it's okay. Just hang on, okay? Just hang on, we'll get you. We'll get you out, okay? Just stay still. Steve, just hold on, hang on, it's okay, it's okay. Hamid! Hamid! Just stay still, okay? Ali, Ali, look at me. I'm still. It's okay. Lads, get the gear over! We'll clear the path to it! It's okay, it's okay. Get the team! Hey, 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 shh! I shall put your hand here. Apply pressure. Get the fucking gear over! Get in here! Stay still, man. Okay? Stay still. What the fuck are you doing? What is this? This is not how we do things. Do you understand? We could have got help for that boy. Get him out. Tell him he's fired when we get back to Kandahar. He's fucking gone. Boss, wait, those the guys that are fired. Those these are the I'm going to go with Hamid and take her to the field hospital. We'll get her to Pakistan from there. They're waiting for us. They're going to get to Islamabad. I don't trust any of these fucking Taliban doctors with a woman. So I need you to stay here and keep things running. Okay. And make sure you get rid of that bastard. Right. Look, I don't need to tell you how important this contract is, right? So keep things nice and smooth. Yeah, it's fine. Well, now Aisha's out of the team. You're not allowed to work with Jamila alone. Why? Jamila could only interpret for us while ever Aisha was present. She's not working for us anymore. So Jamila's not allowed to be seen alone with another man. It's just their law. There has to be another woman present. Well, fine, I'll get another woman. No, it's not as simple as that. Well, these are the two men that have come to collect her. I had to get in contact with the government office to get a safe passage for the medivac. It must have alerted them to the fact that you've got a chance to be alone with Jamila. They're going to take her to Ashik Khan, the new government chief. Now, go and see him. Do you remember where he lives? Yeah, yeah. He'll sort you out with a new male interpreter. I'm going to take Hamid with me in the bigger van. I might need some help on the way. I'll call you from Quetta. Any problems, you know what to do, right?
Flashy cut. السلام عليكم وير از ستيف دي لامو با ام سكند ان كوماند ريتشارد لي اي ثوت ات وود بي يوزفول فيرست تو ميت دي جي وير هير ابوت ذا اكسيدنت توداي رايت ويل ام ام غون تو بي اور ستيشن تشيف وايل ستيف تيكس ايشي تو باكستان I have urgent business in Kabul, so I must be finished with you soon. Okay, well, um, as you know, I'm now without an interpreter. Uh, we'll supply a new one. Uh, Excuse me, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know what was I'm sorry, I was hoping that you might make a, a special exception and allow me to work with a trusted interpreter, someone I know I can rely on. Jamila? Impossible. She's the best interpreter you have here. She lived in America, so she understands perfectly well what I say. We have many good interpreters. Raza. There's your man. You speak very good English. Hello? I'm told your English is good. Right, well, I'm going to need you to be on the ball, by my side all day. I want you on call constantly, and keep an eye on the Afghan blokes, because they like to take the piss if you don't stay on their case. Do you speak Balochi? I speak English. My name is Sheer. I'm very pleased to meeting with you, sir. Ma this is just not good enough. None of you men speak English, Pashtun, Balochi, and Dari as well as Jamila. Raza. She's educated. You know, the, the others just don't come up to it. It cannot happen. This is my final call. Oh, we pay you, uh, how much? $30 a day? Or we can maybe increase that to $40 a day. It's all good. I get a good interpreter. You get paid more. Jenko pays for it all. Women cannot work alone with a man who are not their husband. That is the law. And who are you to tell in your ways? And Jamila? She will look after children. Your new interpreter will come to the compound in the morning. That's all. What are you doing here? Shh, just be quiet. No, please, you must leave now. No, it's okay, just, just please give me a voice. No, please, please. leave. Shh.
because I forgot. I just saw something up. I couldn't call or, or, or write here. Yeah, yeah. I got back as soon as I could. So I didn't die? Taliban call. Richard, if they'll find us, they'll kill us. It's okay, I'm not staying. I just, I just have to see you. Do you remember what I said? What we talked about before I left? I still stand there. I mean it now more than ever. I can't leave you. This country's tearing itself apart. I spoke with a friend in immigration. In London, and I, I think I found the way. I've just got to get you out of Afghanistan. I'll get you into Pakistan. I'll get you across the border. But how? I'm not supposed to work with you anymore. I got in here, didn't I? You've got to trust me. I've come back for you. I'm here now, and I've come back for you. You stay close to her. If I should can't give you any more work, you just do it. Hey, if they ask any questions, don't make him suspicious. I'll be back to get you in two days. Okay? And night, so you'll be ready.
Do you speak English? Little, little. What's the problem? What's happened? Friend of this woman fighting with men. What friend? What was her name? I don't know this woman. No, ask her. What was her name? What was her friend's name? She is a mad, mad woman. You don't worry about her. Where is she? Where have they taken her? Ask her. Jamila, she is here. They take her to be stoned at the execution yard near the old hotel. Khan's going to find out what's just happened. He's going to put two and two together and he's going to come here. So we have to go now. Uh, drive us to Quetta if we can get across the border. If we're lucky, he won't have heard yet. The dead man from our team. I think he knows about us. What? He shouted to me when I was a dad. He said that I live with them for time. He must know about us. That's why he's told us. Well, if that's the case, then we've got even more reason to just escape now. Okay. He's going to tell us you can while you were attacked. I've got to load up the truck, OK? No, no, no. I'm going to be right back. Please don't leave me. Please don't leave me. Please. I made this happen. Now I have to remake it. in Afghanistan. This is 
I will treat to your hosts. Hey, just hang on a minute, okay? You dare to dishonor our woman. You threatened this man with the rifle. Hey, that was an illegal stone there. This one is a criminal. He killed Samir. He kidnapped Jamila. You will be punished. But for you, Englishman, you will be punished also. And for the whore, the punishment for prostitution is death. We must finish what this man started. And you must also die. You dare to break our laws. To have a son of his war woman, knowing that this is not permitted. Well, English, the man, Tenfeldel, who dishonors a Muslim woman, even a whore, this man is no more. <laughs>
it's Richard. Hello, pal. How's it going? It's, it's not. It's, it's not fucking good. Look, I, I ain't got time to explain. I just need some help. Where are you? You're starting to scare me, mate. What's going off down there? Steve Jamil is dead. One of the Afghans, the one who killed that kid who got injured by the mine, he, he took it to be executed. I, I stepped in, I couldn't let him do it. I should can't got involved. I think he's after me. I just need you to get back, try and clear it up. Jesus Christ, Rich, what the fuck have you been doing down there? Oh, Steve, just get back, okay? I've got to get out of it. I've got to get into Pakistan. What? No, 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 stay exactly where you are. Don't be ridiculous. If you try and cross the border, I'm thought you'll get yourself fucking killed. If I stay here, I'm dead anyway. I'm going to try and get to Quetta and get a flight home from there. Look, just lie low until I get back and I'll sort it out, all right? We've got a contract with these people. We work for them. I'll get you safe passage, special foreign status. I'll negotiate something, all right? Look, it's going to be on that. I just need you to help me, OK? We found the foreign office. Ask them to help me in Pakistan. I'm going to try and make a break for the board. If I can get off Kandahar, I'll try and find up. Which, which way? Do you even know where you're fucking going? Taliban checkpoint has been bolded. They regularly send out patrols from there to stop smugglers. If I were trying to get to Pakistan, I'd stay clear of it. It's the nearest. Well, whichever way he goes, I need to meet Pakistan before him. So we'll pack tonight and drive back to Quetta tomorrow. And Ashik Khan? I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. You feel like we're driving to the lines, Dad? The lines don't pay, my friend. No tape bribes. If there's anything I can do to save this situation, I need to get down there right now and do it. What did you? Do what I can.
Ben for the legless. All this honor and a bond for you. Will not escape the justice of Afghanistan. But Richard rescued her. She was kidnapped and taken to be stoned. Why do you think she was attacked this way? Because she is packing with honor. That's bullshit. You're covering somebody else's tracks. Whoever kidnapped Jamila must be punished. Stonings are illegal. Can only be carried out by the police. They were seen together. They were intimate. This is illegal. This man, Richard Lee, has broken our laws. And he will be punished. He's a British citizen working for the Taliban government. He must be given his rights. He has no rights. You British. You have no say in Afghanistan. You never have. This is not India, not Pakistan. No, but it is the 20th century, and my man is not going to be executed like some fucking dog in the street. Ah, uh, well, we will see. Is this a matter of money? No. Well, then what? I know you have safe houses in Kandahar. Where is he? I don't know where he is. If I did, I would be out there finding him. If you don't bring him to me, you are also criminal. If I bring him to you, can you guarantee that he will not be executed? That he will stand a fair trial and be given access to the British Foreign Office? For the sake of international relation, I agree. Then I'll find him. Ah, uh, there. And of course, one other consideration, one other way to save him. They're going to execute him as soon as they find him. Khan says that they'll put him on trial, but I don't believe him, so I'm not going to take the risk. We need to help him get to Pakistan. What can we do? Well, the Taliban think he's still in Kandahar. They've not guessed that he might try and cross the border on foot, so we have to go along with that. That will give him the chance to escape the country, and then we can try and get out. Somehow.
السلام علیکم وعلیکم السلام I'm, uh, I'm, I'm with uh, Jenko. We're waiting to see Mr. Mohammed. You're English? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm from the north. Uh, are, you, are you from Kandahar? Yes, yeah. but I've been to many other places. Oh, you, your English is very good. That's because I used to live in America. I was born here in Afghanistan, but my family moved to the United States when I was quite young. They had to return in 1989 when Russian left. I'm afraid my, my Pashtun isn't as good as your English. <laughs> it's all right. You can speak English with me. Um, it's my job, you know. I'm an interpreter. Well, you've got a job as an interpreter? Hmm. Before Taliban, I used to work for UN. I used to go to university every day. But now I only work when there are no male interpreters. What's your name? I don't speak Pashtun. No, 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 Pashtun. No, 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 I don't speak Pashtun. Okay, okay. Fuck you! What is the I'm English. 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 I'm I'm lost, I was following the road. And where are you going? I'm going to Pakistan by the Poja Pass. That's where I go. So you are Pakistani? No, no. I'm English. English? We have many ISI agents in our country. The Punjabis come here to meet with Taliban. Who are you? I'm not from Pakistan. Okay, I'm from Leeds, England. Then it's a mystery to me as to why would you be out here? I'm fleeing to Pakistan. Taliban government in Kandahar are after me. Okay. They're going to kill me. So I have to escape across the border. English? Yeah, I'm English. Tell me, Englishman, what year your great nation win the FIFA Football World Cup? We also do not like the regime. We too are the enemies of Taliban government. Arida Khudai Khidmatgarasi, 
بعد يكن ندارت جواني سكين شو بقى كتير أنا شايف كبو هاي مو مر بلوش هاي من بورد إكسبورت بيزنس ريتشارد لي ماين كليرنس ويلكم تو بلوشستان Can you help me across the border? Well, I've got money. I, I, I've got some cash now, and my company can pay more when I get there. I told you, I mean imports and exports. If you want to fuck the Taliban, I will help you. Come, we must eat. We have a long journey out. Babu, you're not going. Babu, come. Food. Come in, HQ, over. Come in, HQ. Over. HQ, this is Steve Delamore. Over. HQ, this is Steve Delamore. Over. We shall stay here tonight, one of our many camps. Tomorrow, we take you to the border. This is Sarwar Khan. He's in charge of this area. Sarwar Khan, the Richard London Ambassador. Huh? Angry this. Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Please make yourself home. This is your bedroom tonight. escape during the war against Russia. We fought the Soviets. We all fought the Soviets. Ghani here? He was used to be of one army until he deserted. But we are all Mujahideen. And now? Now we fight with the new oppressors. Same corruption, same greed. Now they tell us that God sent them. But Allah does not send men to beat women on the roads or kill infidels without reason. Like supporting men like me. What about the Northern Alliance? Do you support them? They are Northerners. They can have Kabul. They have no part in my land, in Balochistan. You see? This is Iran. This is Afghanistan. This is Pakistan. And this, all this, this is Balochistan. The English draw a line through here and say, this is Afghanistan, this is Pakistan. But our people don't care for these borders. We are one people, Baloch. And one day, we were a sovereign country. That's what I fight for, Balochistan. Now, Pakistan is not likely to give up its land, is it? I mean, you know, look how they cling on to Kashmir. <laughs> the Kashmir problem cannot be solved. The Indian army wants it too. But here it's very simple. Palestine wants freedom, and we will get it. You tell me, what have an Englishman done to upset the Taliban government? It's complicated. Like everything in this country, always many sides. I only hope that it did not concern a woman. There are two things English like more than their tea. Football and fucking, huh? <laughs> this is not a surprise, my friend. These women are most beautiful, most exotic in all over the world. Are you Aji? Are you angry? 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 It's not what you think. I think you have tasted heavenly wine and it has turned out to be poison. My wife died in Africa two months ago. 
I mean, we, we split up last year, but... You know, it's still... She, she was an aid worker in Sierra Leone. She wanted to stay, I had to leave, so... We ended it. I came to Afghanistan and... I, I didn't want it to happen. I didn't think it, it would happen. I didn't, I didn't even know it could happen, but... I fell in love. Nice woman, she was... so strong, so principled. She was beautiful. I was hooked. I mean, I, I knew I couldn't make it work, but... It's gotten to my skin, you know? Then my wife got malaria. She didn't get to hospital in time, wouldn't leave the people she was helping, and... You know, I've been over it in my head a thousand times, you know, my wife dying. I should have... Should have been there, should have stood by her. I mean, whichever way you look at it, I wasn't. I wasn't, I wasn't there for her when she died. I let her slip away and I couldn't let that happen again. Not again. I love her and... I couldn't, I couldn't let her get away from me. Women are the most precious creatures on earth. If you would die for love, and now, you must live to find love again. You should rest, Englishman. Long day tomorrow. Okay? Good night, huh? Don't worry. We have to go to Narange. The girl's been killed in a minefield. Do you find our people hard? Well, you know, people live to suit the environment they're in. You know, country's a tough place to live in, so the people are tough. But our country's also very beautiful. You haven't seen the most of it. I've seen this place. I mean, the, the driving from Quetta. It's just spectacular. Pakistan. My mother and my brother always wanted to go there after Taliban took control. But my father would not permit us. He said, we must stay now that we've been living away for too long in America. That is important for us to live and die in Afghanistan. And you? What do you want? My father is dead now. If I could go, I would go.
Nothing. Haji thought he had heard something. Haji thought he had heard something. You, come back. I don't think anyone is there. This is the way to get information. If the Taliban find him, they will get the message. If they don't find him, the wild dogs will. Were they after me? No. His unit was sent by the local commander in Kandar. They came to search for us. My unit's attack on Kandar Taliban base two nights ago got their attention. And that was you, the rebel attack? I told you, my friend, we do not like the Taliban government. The way to show them, it's not with votes or protest. It isn't London or Paris. We blow things up like they do in Washington. Come, we must take you to the border. Thank you, Omar. 
You are my guest. And you pay cash, huh? Cash. Come. And when was that over? Uh, that's five hours ago. Over. Do you have confirmation that he was seen over? Yeah, it's been through escape with the other men. Over. Okay, keep me informed. Over. Hi. That was Kabul, the Genko coordinator. They've heard reports about a government patrol being involved in a firefight 15 miles from the border at Kojak. When? Last night, but they're pretty sure that Richard was there. Then Ashi Khan will know. He's not in Kandahar. No, not yet. It came from a Genko source. It's not got through to the Khan HQ yet. Is he injured? No, he got away. He's been guided by tribesmen, a lot of smugglers. I think he's going to head for the Kojak Pass. It's dangerous. Where's the closest option? Are we going there? I am. But I need you to stay here. Now, if Ashik Khan or the police get in contact with you, you must tell them that I'm in the city looking for Richard. Don't mention anything about this, OK? Of course. Good luck. We've got a lot more to do, James. I'm going nowhere. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. We'll still have the contract in a month. Of course I know how important it is. I'm dealing with it myself. Richard Lee won't be a problem. I've got him safe passage to Pakistan. He'll be in the UK tomorrow night. I've sorted Ashik Khan out. He'll be fine about it. Look, I've got to go, OK? I'll call you later. Bye. Ashik Khan, please. It's Steve Delamore, Genko Man Clearance Team. Sure, sure. Okay, get him to call me. Steve Delamore. Steve Delamore, Jenko. Ask him to call me, okay? Islamic Republic of Pakistan. I never thought we'd be so pleased to see it. There are many guards there, and the Taliban. They may be looking for you. You must wear these clothes, so they will not recognize you. What can we not just walk around it or cut the fence? It's electrified, mined in places, heavily guarded by the Pakis. You must go through the border. Once you got through, tell them who you are. They will take you to Quetta. You must leave our guns here, huh? Don't worry, I have a pistol with me. Whoa. Jenko Kandahar, this is Steve. Come in, over. Jenko Kandahar, this is Steve. Over. Hamid, come in, over. Where have you been, mate? I've been calling for five minutes. I need you to send a fax. Hello, hello, Steve. I can't hear you. Hello, Hamid. Can you hear me? Over. Hamid, over. Hello, Hamid. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Come in. Hamid, are you hearing me? Steve. Steve? It is Ashik Khan. Or people aren't positioned at the border. Hello, Hamid. Carter will be hit. 
Where are you? Oh, me, I'll get them fucking thing. Hello? Hello? Hello, Steve? If you can hear me, please hurry, get here. We are waiting for you. Hello? This is Hamid. At last, we've got to get these radios fixed, mate. Hamid? Hamid? Steve, I know about you and Ashok. Bad, bad line, Hamid. Say again, bad line. You have told them where Richard is. They're on their way to stop him. Kill him, Steve. They won't arrest him. They won't bring him back. Just shoot him and make him disappear. I mean, listen to me. I had no choice. No. I had no fucking choice, my friend. He fucked it up for all of us. We were all in danger. Ashik Khan could have ordered us to be arrested and thrown out of the country. Then Jenko loses the contact and we're out of a job. So he gave him up? You let them kill your friend? It was him or us, Amid. It was him or us. I was close. I had the government looking near the airport. I told Ashik Khan. I thought I knew where Richard was. We could have delayed him and got out. And Jenko? We fuck over Jenko? We escape and Jenko get thrown out of the country. Uh, and what about the others in Kabul? Nothing will happen to them. We'll be safe, but no Richard will be shot. And you? You tell me it was for money? For Jenko? Or for a contract? No. No, no, no. Ma, 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 only. Go up. Ma, ma, ma. Ma, is ready Ma, 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 security. Don't shout. Murdara. I have a man at the border, and your friend will be dealt with, and we can move on. Meet you a new interpreter. Hello, sir. As I have already said, any further complication may threaten your company's future in Afghanistan. Jenko is committed to his work over here. There will be no more problems. I told you, my friend, this is what I do, imports and exports. But it was my pleasure. What? If you're ever in Leeds, look me up, yeah? I'm 
indeed, my friend. You will take me to football match, huh? Leeds United. Very good team. Okay? See you. Oh, <laughs> 